Stretchy Babe Action Jacqueline here with an amazing arm and ab toning sculpting workout. These are some of my most favorite moves that's going to chisel and strengthen your body. I'm here at the beautiful, amazing El Matador Beach in Malibu, California. It is so cool here. These rocks are just incredible. So take in the scenes as we work out together. Okay, let's get started. We're starting here on our knees and if it's uncomfortable to sit like this and you can stand up, we're gonna do some arm circles. Reach the arms out and let's do a few arm circles just like this. Now these moves here, we're gonna start with our upper body. Amazing for your posture. I know so many of you are saying you're working from home and you're slouching. You're starting to feel the aches and pains. So aches and pains means that it's time to move your body, right? That's, that's what your body's trying to tell you. Good, go the other way. Your body's saying, please move me, strengthen me, do something with me. I don't wanna sit here anymore, right? So these exercises are going to really help you with that. And some of these are a little bit challenging. You guys know I always love to challenge you. Good, all right, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna start in downward facing dog, all right? Downward dog and hold it here. We're gonna draw the elbows in towards each other, lower the elbows down to the floor and then lift the elbows back up off the floor. 10 times like that and here we go. 10, up, nine, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. You're just gonna lay all the way over to your side right away, and we're going to press the hand to the, wrap the other one around you, press up 10 times like that. You're gonna feel that tricep work. 10, nine, and eight, seven, whew, six, lots of good work there, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, go to the other side. So wrap it around your chest here. Place the hand down and let's go four, 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Okay, we're gonna come back into our downward dog and we're gonna do downward dog push-ups. We're just gonna do five. I love these, hold, just hold your position and watch me for a second. You're gonna lift up high onto your toes, squeeze the elbows together, try to draw the forehead down towards the floor and come back up. Now if that's too much, just go a little bit less, okay? But the most important thing is draw the elbows together. Here we go, five times like that and five, Whew. up and four. Keep the elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. You gotta keep telling yourself three because they're gonna wanna splay out. And two and one and good job. Okay, now we're gonna lower all the way down onto our stomachs. Bring the hands behind us, bring the feet together. I love this one because it's amazing for your posture. You're gonna lift the palm facing up and then flip the palm. So just little flip flops, just like that for 10. Nine, two sets of 10. Eight, seven, hover just right over the mat. Five, four, three, two. One more set of 10 right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Four, three, two, and one. Good, now place the hands right by the ribs, feet together, knees together, press on up, stay here on your knees. Now we're gonna lower down for three counts and then press up. Here we go, three, two, one, and up. Woo, you, I bet you're feeling the burn. Three, two, one, and up, just three more, just like that. Squeeze the elbows in, three, two, one. And up, three, two, one. And up, last one, three, two, one. And up, good, okay, come on up. We're gonna start with our arm circles again. We're gonna do all those one more time. So arms are to the side. 
Nice. Okay, so you know what's coming up here. Now the second time around, I always feel it can be a little bit more challenging, but mentally, you know what's happening. So mentally, it's not as challenging. Let's reverse it. And it's also a chance for you to improve your form, right? So you got kind of more of a handle on it. It's time to look at your form, see what you can do to improve, right? Okay, let's go into it now. Down dog to dolphin pose. So come into downward facing dog, lower the arms down. Let's go for 10. Squeeze the elbows together. They've got really, really squeezed. Nine. And up. Eight. And seven. And six. Five. Four. Good. Can you lengthen yourself out longer? Three. Two. And one. Good. Go ahead and lay onto one side. You're gonna do both sides. Or which one? And here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Just two rounds of this one. Okay, let's go to the other side. Place the hand down and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, let's go on up to the next exercise. So we're going to go into our downward dog push ups. Here we go. So downward facing dog, you gotta squeeze those elbows together five times down like this, and five, and up. Remember the goal is to hit the forehead, but that's okay if it doesn't go there today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. Remember your job is to just show up, not get attached, and be open to growing and getting stronger every day. Two, and up, and one and up good lower all the way down onto your belly here we go so hover, hover just right over the mat not too close not too far keep the neck straight and lift up for 10 9 flip in the palm 7 6 5 4 3 2 one more set of 10 right here 10 9 8 keep the body long 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 amazing job come on up we've got one more exercise right here before we get into our abs so we're going to lower down for 3 2 1 and up so keep your body like a straight strong plank Squeeze the booty together a little bit. Three, two, one, and up. Focus on getting the elbows in. Focus on getting the shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. Count for three. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. One last time. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Whew. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into our core now. So we're gonna come on to your back and we're gonna do the same thing. Do a few exercises, repeat them twice through and you'll really feel it. So I love this for that quick burn you just wanna get in the middle of your day or you wanna add this to a cardio session, something like that. We're gonna extend all the way out and then circle around. Okay, here we go. And 10, circle, nine, and eight, seven, stretch the arms, five, squeeze the ankles together a lot, four, three, and two, this one also works the neck muscles, and one. So we're gonna go into oblique twist with the legs at 45. So we're gonna twist, reach, 
twist each, okay? So that middle point right there, the legs are reaching long. Here we go, 10 times. 10, nine, keep pressing the belly button down into your spine. Seven, six, five, four, three. I know that hold is killer. And two, and one, and breathe, good. We're gonna roll on up. We're gonna run it out here on our tailbone. You're gonna feel like you're just running in place, just like this, okay? This is so good for those hip flexors, those deep, deep core muscles. All right, here we go. And let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Okay, roll on over and lower your elbows down for a forearm plank. Now, a couple options. You can stay on your knees. You can come up onto your toes. Okay, and I'll show you our exercise. The knee is a great modification, but we're gonna lower everything down. Okay, my toes stay on the floor, and then I'm gonna push the floor away. 10 times like that, okay? Forearms are parallel to one another, fingers are flat down on the ground, and let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay. All right, this is our last move, and then we're gonna do these all again. Okay, come up onto your hands, onto your toes. Here we go. And we're gonna walk our feet all the way in, actually, into this little bear position. Okay, so you're pushing the floor away, and you're gonna hold right here. Now, you're just going to extend it all the way back out to a high plank, and then you're gonna walk it all the way back into that little position. Okay. Do what you can. Remember, every rep you get stronger. And reach it out. <sighs> nice, we're doing this 10 times. So it's really challenging to make sure that you don't lean too far back. See how I'm kind of leaning back? You want your shoulders over your wrists. That's where you're gonna get strong. That's where you start to incorporate the lats, the serratus, your arms, your shoulders. Let's take a little breather. Whew. Maybe 10 was a little ambitious, but we've got it. Okay, five. This is the last one in our little ab set here. And our arms are definitely tired because we just did a ton of work on them. Two, last one, and rest. Okay, shake it out. So you already did one set. We've got one more set to go, and then you're all done. You're doing amazing. And let's go ahead and lay all the way down. Okay, let's move into our second round now. Pull the knees in towards your chest, and we're gonna extend out long for 10, and in, and nine, and in, and eight. So I designed this workout here to be a staple for your workout routine. You can add this to a cardio session. You, know, you can do this three times a week and you're gonna definitely see an improvement with your strength. And that's what I love about these workouts is that there's one thing for sure. You show up, you press play, you stick with me all the way through, you will get the results you want. There's not a lot of things that you can say where you know the outcome of things, right? Mostly everything is unpredictable, but that is predictable. Okay, let's move into our second exercise. Here we go, pull it in and in. Good, nine and in. Eight. Seven. 
seven, six, five, four. These ones are tough. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Come on up. Feel that core getting stronger. And I think that's why I love working out so much, 10, because you know what the results are going to be. If you keep showing up, that's all you have to do. You show up, finish the workout, and you're going to see the results you want. I love being able to feel like I can depend on that. Three, and two, and one. Woo! Feeling the burn, right? Definitely feeling the burn. Okay. Next one, elbows down. Here we go. Lift on up into that plank. And we're gonna lower everything down and lift it up 10 times. And 10, and up, nine, and up. Eight. Remember that the forearms are parallel to one another. Six and five, four, three and two and one. Woo. Take a little breather. Okay, we've got our last and final exercise. I know high plank pose. This is a tough one, but we can do it. Remember, you and me, we are gonna get through this and we're gonna get stronger together. Let's pull it in for 10. And we'll take breaks when we need to. That's okay. Always an opportunity for us to just regroup, reset, and recommit. Nice. So you just gotta take one at a time. Right? If you think of like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this whole thing. You just think of one right here, right now. This present moment. Can you do it again? Can you hold it? Yes, you can. Six. Nice. Let's do one more and then take a little breather. Five. Uh, okay. We're gonna take four more and then that's it. Here we go. And four. Whew. Three. You've got this too. Stay strong. We're so close. Last one, shoulders over wrists. Woo. And you made it. Oh my goodness, good job. Shake out those hands. Let's take a nice little stretch. Let's come into a little mermaid seat. Stretch over the body. Oh, this one feels so, 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 so good. One of my favorites and then a nice little twist. And go to the other side. Nice little mermaid stretch over the legs. Oh, the hips even get a nice stretch there. Arm stretch, little twist. You did such an amazing job today. Let's take one more stretch here for the shoulders. Cross the hands behind you. Open up the head towards the sky. Oh, we did so much. Good tricep work there. Posture is on fire. So my highest intention is always for you to feel confident, empowered, and so amazing in your own body, skin, and mind. All right, great work. I'll see you in the next workout. Love you, bye. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts, and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days 
After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.